Okay, everyone, welcome to the Tony Cooking Show. Right now, I'm going to make my salad. And I start off with these scallions, and I leave them rubber band on them, and this is how I do it. piece of broccoli. Get rid of this. All this stuff's already been pre-washed. I washed it before I uh, started this so I didn't have to bore y'all with that process. I like broccoli in my salads. You gotta get to the florets. I like to even use these little pieces of the stalk. I chop them up small. They taste good. I'll use these leaves off the broccoli though. And here we go. I'm going to add this to the bowl. Alright. I, um, I always add a little well, not always, but this time I'm going to add some mushrooms. I usually just put them in their hole. I buy these carrot chips, and I'm going to put some of those in there. That's what I got so far. Um, let's see. I'm going to use some green pepper been in the refrigerator for a little while so I need to use it. Chop off the top, pull out the guts, remove the membrane, wash the inside a little bit, and then I start cutting it up. Just chop it, dice it. Pepper's done. All right, we're going to add some spinach. I buy the um, bags of spinach. You got stems on it, but I don't mind the stem. It tastes just fine to me. I chop it up a little bit, gather it all in a bunch. Chop it up. Don't have to chop it up too small. Just chop it up a little bit. So when you got the great big leaves on your fork when you take a bite, and that's good enough. Put that in there. Okay. Now, I want some celery. And I basically do that the same way as I do with the scallions. I take it. Actually, I cut the ends off like this. Get rid of this part. Because that's usually... Uh, needs to be cut off. And I, I like these little leaves. They help add flavor. I just chop the whole stalk just like this. So I think I got about what I want. And that looks about right. So that's enough salary. OK. 
Okay, what else is there to put in here? Uh, need some tomatoes. Uh, I usually use the uh, Romas, but the ones in the grocery store this morning were looking kind of pitiful, so I didn't buy them. I bought some of these, uh, I don't know what you call them, but they all look identical tomatoes. So I'm going to use three in this salad, and I usually cut them in half. Cut it in half again, and then I chop them like this. This ain't the same as my usual aromas. They, they're easier to do, but these will work just fine. Tomato to tomato. I don't be seed them or any of that. I'm a bachelor. And I don't need to do that. And I like it all. I love tomatoes. So that's the tomatoes. They're done. Okay. Next thing I need is my celery. Or my lettuce, rather. And that's been washed too, believe it or not. I pull off these top leaves and discard them because they got a little discoloring to them and when it looks good then that's when I start using what's there so I usually take a big chunk like this cut it cut it chop it up just like so Part, I don't need to use. So here you go. You break this up a little bit, and you got lots of lettuce. So this big bowl that I've been putting all this stuff in is pretty much full of all the stuff I like in my salad. And as you can see, the bowl is pretty much filled up. So I take my hand. I stir it up some. And this is enough salad to last me for probably two to three days. I eat a lot of salad. I eat it for snacks when I get hungry. Instead of making something fattening, I make me another salad. I'll mix this up a little bit better before I put it in the bowl to have it for my dinner. Okay, so now I'm getting ready to uh, make my fried rice. And these are the ingredients I use. There's some chopped yellow onions. This here is the uh, center of the stem, like the heart. I cut off all the old uh, tough part of the broccoli stem and chop up thin slices of of it and use it. I think it's real tasty. A lot of people just throw it away. Chopped carrots, mushrooms, and some celery. I'm going to add all of this to my fried rice. Okay, so here's the fried rice. Uh, got my spatula. Uh, you start off with uh, some eggs. Now I'm going to add that to this frying pan. Got hot. Scramble them up. You don't want them to get all the way set. You just want to uh, keep them a little bit loose because I'm going to take them out and add them back uh, later on in the process. So don't take long. These are actually ready to come out. So I'm going to take them out. And uh, I use a little bit of olive oil for my frying stuff. I don't use the heavy oil uh, most of the time unless I don't have any choice. But next, uh, what you're going to do is, this is some rice that I prepared earlier. 
and uh, I chilled it because it actually works better if you let it sit overnight, but uh, I didn't do that. It's been sitting for an hour or two. So I'm going to add this rice and I'm going to brown it. This is a cup and a half, cup and a half of rice, by the way. Yeah, I'm gonna let that start to brown. Um, I can also start adding. I'm gonna add these onions. Actually, I'm gonna add all these vegetables and keep stirring it until the rice is browned. It's going to take about a few minutes for it to uh, get to the point where I want it. Uh, I'm also going to add a little garlic, but I'm going to let this cook a little bit before I do that. Best to do is just leave it alone. Flatten it around, spread it around, and don't touch it so it'll brown. I'm going to let that brown for a little bit, and I'll be right back with you. Okay, so I'm still uh, working with the rice here. I've been tossing and turning it for about five, ten minutes now while I was preparing some other things. And it's just about ready. So uh, I'm going to turn the heat down a little bit. I'm going to add these eggs back in and mix them up very really good. Actually, I probably could have added one more egg, but this will work just fine. And to this, I'm going to add uh, probably about a tablespoon or two tablespoons of soy sauce. And You can add gavo or whatever, guavo, whatever it is, or whatever. I'm going to add some oyster sauce. That's what I like. So, that's what goes in mine. And then you stir that around. So everything looks brown. Starting to look good. It sure smells good. I might need to add just a little bit more of this oyster sauce. I want it to look nice and brown. There we go. I kind of do stuff by look to not all by exact measurement. Uh, so stuff turns out just a little bit different every time I guess but it always turns out pretty good uh, it's getting look pretty well mixed together now for the last ingredient to this and what you do is you turn off the heat you add some shrimp this is about half a pound of jumbo shrimp you don't need the heat turned on anymore the hot the heat from the rice and the heat that's still in the pan will cook the shrimp <coughs> so you just <coughs> keep stirring it around until the shrimp is done 
and then you have your perfect shrimp fried rice. As you can see, shrimp's starting to turn pink already. Just keep turning it and turning it. And it will come out perfect. Got to add the garlic, so I just added that too. Uh, that's a good thing, really. You don't want the garlic to burn. So I'm gonna stir this around for another couple minutes, and we'll go to the next part of my dinner for the evening. It's what's for dinner. Okay, this is gonna be my steamed broccoli. I got it in the pan. I'm getting ready to turn it on and steam it till it's tender. Okay, so here's my main course. Um, the oven's preheated to 450 degrees. This is some salmon. It's kind of thin stuff, but uh, I can't afford the uh, real expensive one-inch thick salmon steaks. So this is what I'm having. Uh, I'm going to try this out. It's called uh, it's the Paul Prudhomme's Magic Sal Salmon Seasoning. I'm going to try that today. So it says to sprinkle it on. Oh, I sprayed the bottom of this pan with uh, some olive oil cooking spray. It says to rub this in. I don't think I need to rub it in too much. And I'm getting ready to put that in the oven. Okay, well, it's time to start plating up my meal. Uh, here's my baked salmon uh, right out of the oven and uh, I made a cheese sauce it's a little thin but it'll work for my broccoli I'm gonna add some of that here to my plate and of course some of this yummy looking fried shrimp fried rice can't wait to chow down on that. Mm -mm. And to uh, complete my meal, I've made my salad. Uh, put it in the bowl and sprinkle it with some pepper flakes. So this is what's for dinner. Uh, I'm going to enjoy it. Uh, I hope it makes your mouth water. <laughs>